Hi guys, it's Jessica. I am here today to show you some dolly stuff and blab a little bit. Um, I actually am refilming this part. Uh, I accidentally deleted it <laughs> and it was everything that I had to share about uh, Idlevice here, who is my new dear girl. Um, and uh, I just feel silly that I deleted that when I I thought it was downloaded and it wasn't. <laughs> so, but um, I am really obsessed with her. I've been working on her a lot this week. Um, she is actually named after this little art doll that I made um, a couple years ago. Uh, she is a white deer um, and she's kind of like a faux soft mount taxidermy she's supposed to be laying or lounging around um i sculpted her out of uh polymer clay uh so you know baked and to harden it and uh what i would eventually like to do someday i would like to do something like this again but cast the parts in resin as you can see there's lots of well, not lots. There's a couple parts of her antlers that have broke. She's actually quite delicate because this material, um, it chips and scratches very easily. Uh, but I hand sewed her. She's all hand sewn. She was back in the day when I was too afraid to uh, use my sewing machine. <laughs> so her body is hand sewn. Um, but yeah, so that's that's Idlevice. And um, this is... Uh, my ball jointed doll, Edelweiss. Um, and so things that I worked on her this uh, this week, um, I made her this necklace. Um, it is, uh, I had this part, I'm sorry for the shaky camera. Um, I had this part and the necklace part and all I did was add these just to kind of make it a little more elaborate. Um, I made her outfit. And I'm actually quite, quite proud of how it turned out. Uh, the one thing that I would do differently is I probably would have made the skirt um, longer. Uh, I thought I wanted it to show her hooves and I think if it would have been like down to here, um, I think I would have liked that better. Um, so I may still put an underskirt of some kind, we'll see. Uh, I just really wanted her to have something special that was just for her. Um, the top is made out of this, uh, this, this wine colored, burgundy colored, stretchy velour fabric that is very difficult <laughs> to sew. Um, but I really love it. It's just one of my favorite colors. Um, and I'm going to be sad when it's all gone because <laughs> I just do really, really love it. Um, yeah, uh, this was a new thing that I tried um, and I really like how it turned out uh, with this thicker faux leather waistband and then a faux suede skirt. And I'll turn it around here so you can see the back. So as you can see, this I haven't put snaps in this. So it snaps on yet, so we're still pinned. Um, but this is what I did for the back. Um, it is like a corset style almost. It instead of having um, like uh, snaps or something like that, uh, I wanted something uh, without it being stretchy or Velcro. I wanted the ability to. Put it on different things if I decided to later, um, and yeah, I really, I really like how it turned out. I think it turned out really nice. The other thing I did with her I uh, hot glued in her antlers. <laughs> uh, one of the things that would happen a lot is that. Uh, every time I pick her up, 
her faceplate would come off because the magnets are not very strong, unfortunately. Um, that is one thing that I would criticize Dollzone for is not using strong enough magnets. Um, because every time I would move her, like put her in a sitting position or just shift her, this comes falling off and then the horns would go flying um, there on by magnets too. So I hot glued those and what I'll do is uh, once I her eyes come in, I have some blue ones coming in that I hope we're going to work out for her. Um, but if I like those, then they're going to be put in and her head is being hot glued. <laughs> It is being uh, hot glue closed. Not that I wouldn't still be able to open it later. Um, it's not permanent or anything, but just to give a little bit added security uh, that it's not falling off. Um, it, I have dropped it a lot of times. A lot of times, guys. <laughs> I am embarrassed to say how many times I have had this head come falling off on me. Um, but uh, yeah, it's... It hasn't broken so that's one that it's resin is pretty nice that way um, like if I dropped this girl <laughs> as many times she would be a broken mess um, so resin is a pretty nice material um, how sturdy it is um, and resistant so but uh, yeah I'm not overly worried about blushing her and painting her at this stage um, it's just not even something I'm planning or worrying about at this point. I'm, I'm happy I'm fine with her. Um, it doesn't really bother me that much that, you know, the resin like on her hands doesn't match it completely and things. It's just not that big a deal. Um, to me, like, I kind of like the visual, like her hooves are this different material, this transparent resin, and her hands are white. Um, I just kind of like the... Um, the contrast of the word I'm looking for and the same with the head it's like it's a deer head on this woman's body <laughs> so I like that it's a different resin color I, I have um, some other deer hybrids like this uh, that have deer heads that are dark colored on a normal skin or white skin or whatever and, and I don't mind it um, I kind of like it so um, but yeah I'm I'm really happy with how this turned out uh, I'm really loving this girl uh, and it felt really good to make her something. Um, this is one of the things that I have been missing being able to do is make things when I get a new doll to be able to really bond with him or her by making them something of their own. Um, that's really important to me. Yeah, I think uh, she's a really pretty doll. I, I am just so happy with her. I'm so, so happy with her. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other video. <laughs> uh, so this is filmed after the fact and uh, um, the other, the video that's coming after this was actually taped sooner, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, okay, we got some Coke. <laughs> uh, my, my one vice. Um, there was a few more things that I wanted to talk about with her though. Um, so, <clears throat> This uh, little embellishment here, <clears throat> this was, uh, um, it was an embellishment or a decoration on a watch that I had uh, in college or veterinary school. I can't remember, sometime during that period of my life. Um, <clears throat> and it broke ages ago. <coughs> Pardon me. The uh, the watch broke long, long time ago, um, and I came across it um, recently. It was in a box or something, and <coughs> um, so I removed these little pieces. I have one other. They were matching on each side of the the watch, um, and I've had them. <coughs> you know, I wanted to use them for something special eventually uh and you know how that goes that uh, then you have them for 10 years because you don't want to use it <laughs> um <clears throat> and uh you know waste it uh so i was like you know what she's getting it um and 
it did it did need to be on an SD girl. Um, it needs to be. It's pretty large scale. So, <clears throat> so she got it. She got uh, the jewel from my uh, watch from when I was in college. <clears throat> you know, twenty years ago. <coughs> twenty, <laughs> long time ago. Um, so uh, it's kind of special. Yeah, I I think that I like that. Uh, the other thing I was going to um, kind of throw in is that mm -hmm. uh, waistbands and collars and cuffs. <clears throat> um, I I pretty much always hand sew these, um, and sometimes <clears throat> after I hand sew them, I will. Uh, do a top stitch with my sewing machine for the appearance but all of the these are always hand basted um, I always do that part by hand and I, I've never been able to <clears throat> do that on my sewing machine without it being it just doesn't look right it doesn't stay in place as you can't pin it <clears throat> um, so I don't know if I'm doing that wrong <laughs> but <clears throat> I find for me especially for the smaller that things are uh hand sewing a lot of it is just necessary um and a lot of times i will go over it like i said with my sewing machine after that but a lot of there's a lot of hand sewing that has to occur because of just how small pieces are so um okay i will sit her down here i'll try to attempt to do this I said she's not a great sitter. <clears throat> she uh There. So as you can see, she leans back like this. <clears throat> Once you get her in this position and get her here, it's pre she's pretty stable. <laughs> but uh yeah let's make sure over here <coughs> i'm sorry for all all the coughing um <clears throat> i'll try to edit some of that out <coughs> who am i kidding <clears throat> so uh i have a few more things to show you um so her love my Min Ingenue. Mm -hmm. She has her sleeping uh, faceplate on right now. And I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last video, but uh, she is off being painted by Fitzwig. So I'm, I'm excited to see what he does because I did give him pretty broad leeway with that. Because <clears throat> I find that seems like with most face-up artists, if I kind of let them kind of do their own thing, a lot of times they, they tend to be, feel more inspired. And I, I know I'm that way. I know any type of, type of art or commissions I do, I feel a lot more <coughs> inspired uh, and excited to do something uh, when I get, when I have more free reign. And I can't remember if I showed <coughs> the witch hat that I made for Elphaba. So this is, wait, her wig is really, really shifted. <laughs> so this is uh, my, um, my beauty green <laughs> uh, elf leash, uh, Delph elf leash. Uh, so she's, I, I want to say she's from 2008 I, d I don't know maybe I'm totally wrong there um, but she got the name Alfaba because of her beautiful beauty green resin which I actually really love it's very even and beautiful um, so I don't care for this hat as much as the one that I made for Herla um, <clears throat> the uh, the acorn I had this acorn uh, and it's quite heavy. Um, I really wanted to use it because it's so pretty. Uh, but what I've done is I've had to tack down the hat here. Otherwise, it's so heavy that uh, 
it, it can pull the hat off. So I kind of tacked it down there to kind of keep it in place. Um, and my flowers haven't come in because I do want to, I did want to make a, um, <clears throat> some flowers and uh, around the base. I don't think, I honestly don't think that they're going to make it before Halloween. Um, but I can tie <clears throat> I can tie it on her too, like the one that Herla has, um, and it makes for kind of a cute bonnet effect. <clears throat> so that's Elphaba in her witch hat, uh, and um, and this beautiful fairy fairyland. Um, Siona, I have the full set. Um, I can't use the little hand things though because you, you have to have the removable hands for that <clears throat> and of course you know adult bodies don't do that uh, but uh, I do have all the pieces it has a tail I have the tail uh, it's a really beautiful set <clears throat> so there's that <clears throat> so uh, this little girl I keep meaning to show her and then something always comes up so her little hat's gonna stay on so this is uh, my little my little pixie <laughs> she she uh, here let me get her hair situated so that you can see her I don't know if her hat's gonna stay on so she is um, a lily cat uh, uh, Lilas um, and she is on this modded, it's the, it's Hillary, but it's the boy body, but it was somebody, the previous owner modded it to a girl. <laughs> so, so it's the boy, but it's been modded to a, a girl. Um, and they're, they're pretty similar otherwise, um, to each other, but I just love I just love this body. It is so unique. Um, and yeah, she's just like, she's a little imp. Um, uh, this, this little hat is perfect for her. This, uh, uh, Susie made this, Susie Plum. Um, and her station, her YouTube channel, I think, oh, I can't remember if, if she's Susie Plum on there, um, but I'll try to put a link down there. Because I want you guys to go and follow her and ask her to please make some more videos. I would love to see more videos from you, Susie. So, um, but uh, this is this is Lily. Um, she uh, her body. <laughs> this actually worked out really good. Um, I initially got this body and I wanted to put uh, Edmund on this. The, my um, my seed dolls Peabody head. Uh, but he has a body. He has a he has a doll chateau body, and I really do like him on that body. Um, my um, my sleep wealth Vanessa stole her body, <laughs> uh, so she was a floating head, and she's way too beautiful a doll to be a floating head. So she got on this body, and I've had to jury rig a little neck thing because the neck is very tiny. I still would like to make something maybe out of epoxy that's like a little neck donut that I could put there. Otherwise, it just goes up inside because it, it, her neck hole is very, it's not as big as like Fairyland dolls or even another sculpt, but because these dolls do tend to have thinner necks. Um, but anyways, she's my little imp and she is wearing uh, a lot of Blythe stuff. This was actually a, a dress that I made for uh, Blythe. Um, this is a, uh, Squishadelia uh, shawl, which is just beautiful. I love anything made by her. Um, Darling Clover, I think, is her Etsy shop. If you're ever able to grab anything from her, oh my gosh, I have a couple of her dresses. She's definite. She's like my sewing um, goal. <laughs> like her work and what she creates, and uh, I just I I love her work so much. She's wearing some little Blythe boots, and I just love these little boots. Uh, and I, I, it didn't, they didn't fit my, uh, 
not that they didn't fit them. They fit, but nobody's style. These didn't fit anybody's style in, in my Blythe crew. Um, so they have been sitting around unused in a box and they're way too adorable for that. So um, they fit, they fit perfectly. <laughs> but this little body and this little girl, um, I've, I had a lot of fun with her. Um, and I don't think I've even like put some official pictures of her up anywhere. Uh, but I, I move her around different places and like, she's like a little, my little helper gnome. <laughs> um, I do think that she's probably one of the pixies. Um, she feels a lot more, uh, gentle and calm than most pixies. Uh, my other pixies, I definitely think of them and they have a, a very fast energy, um, like to get into mischief. She feels very calm. Maybe she's more, maybe she's more like a brownie or something. She's, she feels very calm and helpful. <laughs> uh, but I've just, I've just been really enjoying her. And this, uh, this wig, um, this was given to me by, uh, um, oh, I'm never going to say her username right. It's Koi So Marionette. Um, that's what she goes by on Instagram. And she gifted me um, several real fiber wigs. And I, to me, this feels like Angora or mohair. Um, it's very, very beautiful. Uh, and it does have some issues on top where it could be fixed. Uh, it, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's beautiful though. Um, and I just haven't had the right doll to pull it off, but this girl, it was perfect for her. Just perfect. So I, I like that she is, she has, a, a, she has Blythe clothes. She has, um, some things that were gifts from people. So, uh, she feels, she just feels very special because of it. So, um, I actually made, I made the, this Blythe skirt. So she's just this hodgepodge of things that kind of came together. Um, and she, like I said, she just feels really special. I really like her. Let's see, I'll sit her down here. Okay. Um, what else was I going to... Oh, let me grab something. I'll be right back. Okay. I wanted to talk about this guy. <clears throat> this is... Um, this is Gehern. Uh, but not anymore. <laughs> he is being reshelled. Uh, and I think that I've talked about this. Um, uh... I know I have on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I was going to keep it a secret, I don't know. Uh, but he has, he's going to be reshelled. Um, and I'll go ahead and say what uh, he's being reshelled as. Uh, Gehern is going to be reshelled into a Granado uh, Enoch, is that how you say it? Um, I love that sculpt and uh, I missed it the first time it came out. There was a couple of them on the secondhand market that I regretted not grabbing um, because that face sculpt is, that is Gerhern. <laughs> I used to draw, uh, he, he was my, he is my friend Miss Mantis's character um, and uh, the way that I usually drew him when I would draw him for her, um, that, that Granado Enoch sculpt is, it's like, it's him. <laughs> it's him. Um, and I thought that when I first saw the sculpt, but I just never was in the right position at the right time to, to get him. Um, so, <clears throat> so he's on layaway actually, um, because he came back, uh, Granado brought him back and it was literally like one of the last days that he was going to be available if you wanted to try to get him. And I was like, you know, this is the guy, maybe you'll find him on the secondhand market. Um, 
probably you will, but not necessarily in the resin color you want. I'm going to get him in the same resin color as my Granado Titan. It's, uh, I think they call it bronze. Uh, it is beautiful. It is just the most beautiful resin and resin color. I really, really love my Granado Titan's resin. It's gorgeous. Um, so, and it, that was kind of the color, because this was supposed to be pale tan, um, which is, you can see the difference here. Uh, this is, this is Dalshi pale tan, and this is Dalshi tan. Um, but, <clears throat> uh, so I blushed the head to match, um, it, what, he's oriental skin, which you can still see. If I take off his head cap, you can see uh, the blushing that I that I did to make him match this body. I know it's all the pastels. Um, I'm still very proud of that, and I love this doll. Uh, I love the t the Twiggly and Eloy sculpt. Um, I love this body. I love the resin color. Like in this body and this this doll is not going anywhere. <laughs> he is staying here. Um, so don't be afraid <laughs> that he was going bye-bye. But he's not going to be Gehern anymore. I'm discovering who he is. Um, and uh, part of that, I ma started making that transition, thinking about it in my mind um, to try to figure out who he might become and who he is. So uh, I put him in this jacket. This is a, a um, uh, Ipel House. Ipple House, Ipel House, however you say it. Uh, and I bought this set, uh, I bought this set, I think, I hadn't even, I didn't even have an SD male doll yet at the time. I think I just had Neela in her Lutz Leo sculpt and, uh, Doll Chateau Christina, who was Danu. I didn't even have any of these big guys yet. Um, but I was afraid, I loved that set and I was afraid it was going to be discontinued. Um, so I bought it. Um, and I've used different pieces of it on different dolls, but this jacket is is a very very big jacket. It needs a big doll um, and uh, it, I really like it on him. I really like this kind of style. He's wearing these boots. Um, I bought these uh, from Blue Blood Dolls. These are some of the only shoes I found that fit these big guys. Um, this doll has some of the biggest feet, especially proportionate wise to other dolls that are this size or even bigger. Um, but anyways, I'm really liking him. Uh, I need to change his eyes because these are these are definitely Gehern's eyes, um, and we'll see uh, what he's. I've been playing around, so this is a process. Uh, we'll see how things turn out. I am thinking <clears throat> that these two would make a lovely pair um, and of course I know I'm that way I like everybody has to be paired up and I, that, that's just the way I am <laughs> it makes me happy for my dolls to be paired up so um, this is uh, my it's a twiggling ingenue uh, sculpted by Dalshi in their pale tan resin. And she's wearing these really gorgeous doll bakery eyes that she stole from Neela. <laughs> and she's been a floating head and she's even managed to steal these. I paid off her body like a month ago now and I haven't heard from Dalshi. I don't doubt that I will eventually get the body. Uh, it's the, the Audrey body, the 26F whatever they call it. Um, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, and I'm getting it. I went for the body one. It was on sale, which was, you know, it was like $200 less than what it would normally be. Um, and I, I could get it in the matching resin. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm hoping someday that doll will be in. Uh, and I do eventually wants to do something more with her face up. This is the face up she came with and I actually quite like it a lot. Um, so I might just enhance it. I'm afraid to do anything with dark resin though. Be yeah, <laughs> we won't talk about that. Uh, just like um, my face up woes with trying to deal with tan resin. Just 
Ooh, make me cry. But yeah, anyways, I wanted to show him and kind of talk about that, uh, that, uh, that Granado Titan. Um, and I think the other, so I'll, I'll talk about what else I have incoming. Uh, I have the two twiggling ladies. Um, they're almost paid off. Uh, I did decide, I've been waiting over a year. I've been waiting a year and a half for my tan Elbe. Um, and so she's basically paid off. And I decided to go ahead and add another doll to the order um, because I could do a six month layaway and I knew those dolls wouldn't be coming. If, if I, when I pay off that layaway, it'll be paid off, <clears throat> I think November, because I've got October and November. I've got two payments left for um, uh, basically the Pieta that I added, the Twiggling Pieta, um, or Pita, I'm not sure how you say it. But uh, <sighs> fingers crossed that those dolls come in before the end of the year. Um, the way things have gone with twiggling the last three years so we'll see uh so i have those um and i have the granado enoch uh and then i have um my seed dolls wall head in the tan skin the one that i botched her face up she's just put away i do have a um a doll chateau it's the body that Bella was on. It's a, uh, it's, it's a, uh, oh, I can't remember. It's not a kid body. It's like the one right above the kid body. Um, so she, I have that on layaway is what I'm meaning to say. And I went ahead and did a six month layaway through Mint on Card. Um, Cause there was no point in just, from, from my point of view, there's no point in paying her off <clears throat> right away when it's gonna be six or seven month wait. So uh, she's got a couple more payments left. Um, and then I also have a, a doll zone Robin um, who should be paid off about the same time. Um, Lola, can you stop licking your bone? She's fine, I'll go back to snoring. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yes, doll zone Robin, um, I have been Looking at Doll's Own Robin since I first saw an owner pick of one, it's probably been a year now, and um, and I'm like, well, I'll just I'll just get the head, I'll do that, you know. And it's gonna take six or seven months from anything that you order from from Doll Chateau or Doll's Own. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a pair of hands, if it's a head, a whole doll. It's gonna be six or seven months. So I was like. I gotta make it worth it. <laughs> that was my point of view. So yeah, I have that guy on a six month layaway too through Mint on Card. And I kind of jumped on that too because Mint on Card is cutting back. Um, I think the, the owner of that business um, is having some personal issues. She's cutting back basically on her workload. So she's cutting out a bunch of companies. She's just going to have like one or two companies or something like that. Um, so the Doll Zone and Doll Chateau are on the chopping block. So this was my last chance to do the six month layaway through Mint on Card because I, if there's any other dealer that does a six month layaway that carries Doll Chateau and Doll Zone, I don't know it. <laughs> but let me know if you do um, because I think Alice's collection does four or five months, which is pretty good. Um, I don't know. I. I, it didn't bother me, but now it kind of bothers me that they charge for PayPal fees. Like that's kind of, kind of irritated me a little bit, especially when the other dealers don't do that and we're going to offer me a six month layaway. So, um, there's that. <laughs> uh, okay. Ramble, ramble. I am just talking and talking. Um, I do have, um, fairy line, um, the bunny legs, do they call it the bunny legs or the rabbit parts? Uh, I have that should be arriving this week actually. Um, and that is for a doll that I've been putting together that I haven't showed you guys yet. I Somehow I just want her to be together before I reveal her. Um, and I keep thinking, oh, I've almost got it, I've almost got it. Uh, but anyways, when those bunny legs come, I we'll see. 
that might I might not be quite ready because I have a fairy line body that I had to order separately um, or uh, bought separately from uh, somebody I think she's in Russia like it's gonna take for a million years um, anything that I ever buy from Russia takes forever um, but anyways so when she is finally all together I will reveal her my plan for the bunny legs We'll see. I need to have them in my hands and look at them is that I might try to uh, paint them to look like hooves. And I think I've probably mentioned this. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself a million times. I can never remember what I've said and what I haven't. <laughs> um, so um, what else was I going to talk about? Um, mm, yeah, I have those dolls coming in. So those are those are all the incomings that I can I feel like I'm forgetting something I probably am. <laughs> um but uh yeah, I I'm actually doing Inktober and I think I'll shoot on to another video to kind of blab some more about Inktober and things. Um but uh okay, I'm going to I'm going to wrap this up now and uh maybe there'll be another video today if I can get to it, but Thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a long one. Uh, I will um, catch you later. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> I did forget this. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> um, Character-wise, what I have planned for her. Um, she... If I could have put her in the story with Ed and Caribou Woman, that would have been my preference. But the scale um, is not really great for that. Um, she's the amber, uh, the Sume amber body with a normal head uh, that she comes with is on the website is 65 centimeters. Um, and I think that she might, especially with the antlers, um, she's, she's at least 65 if not taller. So uh, when I put Ed up, next to her she's a good head taller than him you know like five or six centimeters because he's he's supposed to be 62 um but she just looks so much bigger proportionally compared to him so i don't know i might still make them part of the story we'll see i'm kind of feeling my way out with that um she's she's definitely a magical creature obviously she's she's something magical um, but, uh, like I had mentioned is that she's, she's kind of taken on this sight doll persona. Um, I, I may or may not, I would just maybe even just paint one or put an eye there, um, for the, for her third eye. So those are all possibilities. Uh, and I kind of wanted to, cause I don't think I mentioned it. So, all right. <laughs> Goodbye for reals. Have a great Monday guys. Bye-bye.